Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebrov. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix fail to find Roblox process KRNL injector error. Now I will be sharing two different methods that you can apply. So let's move with the number one solution where on your Windows 10 or 11, you need to make a right click on the Windows icon, then click on run. And in the run box, you have to type percent local app data percent again the local folder will be up now here in the local folder you have to look for the roblox folder so keep scrolling down until you find the roblox once you get it double click on it and then here you'll find the logs folder just make a right click on it and choose delete once deleted you have to close it now you need to make sure that if there is any kind of third party antivirus program that you're using then you will have to disable it mm -hmm. so you can click on the system tray icon that is on the right hand corner and if there is any kind of antivirus running then you make a right click on it and choose quit and then you can also disable the windows security so click on your windows search type windows security open it once it's up click on virus and threat protection click on manage settings Disable the real-time protection, disable cloud delivered protection, automatic sample submission. Then scroll down and you will find manage control folder access. Click on it and disable all these options. Now once disabled, you need to click on your Windows search again, type store, click on Microsoft store, click on the search box, type Roblox, hit the enter key, click on it and then click on install. Now once it's been installed, Check back again if the problem has been fixed and if this get fixed then you can again go back to the security and re-enable all these securities. So this was the first method. Now in case if this doesn't work, next what you will have to do, come to this website of robloxplayer.exe. You need to click on download exe and then scroll down a bit you will find Roblox Player Launcher latest version. Click on download latest version. And once downloaded, open the downloaded folder. Now here you will find Roblox Player Launcher.exe. Right click on it. Choose Run as Administrator. Then click on Yes. And the Roblox Player will now be coming up. And I'm very sure that you won't be getting any kind of error message. So hopefully guys, these two methods will surely help you to fix this problem. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe for any question. Let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.